اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم آل اف دا اسٹوڈنٹس ٹو اور جی 1 کلاس ٹوڈے جزاکم اللہ ٹو آل اف یو ہو ہیو ارائیوڈ آن ٹائم وی ول بیگن ٹوڈیز لیسن ام ایز از ام اور وے وتھ اور ڈیلی دعا سو ام ان ٹوڈیز لیسن وی ول اسٹارٹ وتھ ون سیکنڈ لیٹ می جسٹ گیٹ Yeah, so here, here. Um, we will start today's lesson with a student on the mic, please, who will follow me and repeat the dua after me. So, um, discipline in charge, could we please have a student on the mic? Okay, uh, G842. G842. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalamu alaikum. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Okay, great. That's fantastic. I was getting a bit worried then um, with the connection. So we're going to start um, today's session as we always do with our daily prayer. Um, as it was explained to you in the opening session, we will have a different prayer that we recite every day, but we always begin with Dawood and Dasmiya. So I will recite and then you will recite after me. Okay? Okay. Excellent. So, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem Beautiful. And the translation? I seek refuge with Allah from Satan the Rejected. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Let's move on. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم and the translation in the name of allah the gracious the merciful well done. and for today we will have wednesday's dua so this is the prayer that we will recite every wednesday And inshallah, you will learn this by the end of our course. Rabbi alimni. Rabbi alimni. Rabbi alimni. Rabbi alimni. Ma huwa. Ma huwa. Khairun. Khairun. Undak. Undak. Very good. I'm going to recite the, the entire dua now and have a go reciting after me. Okay. Rabbi alimni ma huwa khairun indak. Rabbi ilni ma huwa khairun indak. Very, very good effort. Very good effort. So we keep practicing that every week um, and you have all these resources with you so you can practice at home as well. Well done. And the translation, please. Oh, my Lord, teach me what is best for me in your, learning, in your knowledge. Jazakallah. Well done. Excellent. Thank you so much. Jazakumullah. GM842. Okay. So in today's lesson, before we start the lesson, I just want to give everybody um, a couple of announcements and some reminders. So, um, When you enter the class, this is a new term now. So obviously lots and lots of new things to remember, but some of the main etiquettes which you do need to take care of is that you have your correct ID. Um, so even if you've come into the class, you make sure that you change and rename yourself if you haven't already and have your correct ID, otherwise you will not be called to the mic. Make sure that you are in voodoo, you've done your ablution. You should have clean clothes on with your heads covered Um, either with a prayer hat, a dopi, or a scarf or the Buddha. You should be in a quiet place and have parental supervision as well. So these are very important points when we are reciting the Quran that we need to make sure of all of these etiquettes. Okay. Also, a couple of reminders. Um, in a moment, our discipline in charge will uh, drop an, into the chat box um, uh, your attendance form. Please make sure that you fill that in. so that we all know all the teachers know that you have attended and it goes down on your attendance list okay so please make sure once the discipline in charge has put that into the chat box um i think she yes she has put that into the chat box so please go into the chat box and make sure that your attendance has been marked there um also a reminder that all of our lessons and all of our resources are on the google drive which has also been shared with you 
all of the material that we use is in there. So you can go into that, you can um, revise the material, you can check up any lessons that you've been having difficulty with and focus on those. But please don't do make use of that excellent resource. And finally, another reminder that we also have all of our lessons which are recorded and we have access to them on YouTube. So you can go onto YouTube and search your lesson um, and then you can re-listen to the lesson if there's anything you're having difficulty with or just to help you with your pronunciation. You can re-listen to the lesson, you can go over the lesson again, and uh, maybe sometimes people are absent for whatever reason, that way they have access to that so you don't miss out on the lessons at all. Okay, so please um, ensure all of you that you know those points and you take care to, to remember those as well. Um, and two more uh, small announcements, which I'll remind everybody of at the end as well, that on um, the weekend, this is Lajna Ishtama, so please be reminded that there will be no G1 class on Friday, the 16th of September, due to many of our staff traveling to the Lajna Ishtama, Lajna Nasad Ishtama. Classes will restart on the 20th of September, that's Tuesday, the 20th of September, okay, because on Monday, um, it is the funeral of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Um, and so there will be no class on Monday, the 19th of September. Classes will begin again on Tuesday, the 20th of September. So that means Friday and Monday's class next week, just for this week, um, have been cancelled. Um, and your class will uh, um, resume again on Tuesday. OK, so in today's class, what will we be doing? We'll be looking at combined letters. Um, the material is in the Sinul Quran lesson four, which is on pages number 37 to 39. And we'll be looking at the practice, practice text, which starts at exercise 4.1. So if you need to remember, if you have the hard copy of the Sinul Quran, that's fantastic. Otherwise, you can look up the material in the Google Drive when you want to practice after the lesson for your homework. OK, so in yesterday's lesson, um, and this week, you have been looking at the Arabic alphabet. So we have realized that there are 29 letters in the Arabic alphabet. Seven of those are thick sounding letters. Um, you've gone over that earlier in this week. In today's lesson, um, we are going to be looking specifically at how we put letters together to make actual words. Now, we're not, we're not reading the actual words yet, but we're looking at the shapes that the different letters make. And we're going to be mindful of the fact that often Arabic letters, when they are put into a word, the shape changes um, depending on where the letter is in the word. OK, so some letters don't change their shape at all, but other letters change quite significantly. So we do have to be mindful and careful so that we can recognize the letters, not just individually, but when they are joined to other letters. So through the course of today's lesson, we are hopefully, inshallah, going to be looking at the entire alphabet and we are going to look at the letter, the initial isolated letter. We will consider that letter when it is put at the beginning of a word, the initial letter within a word, the first letter within a word. We will also think about that letter and look at that letter when it is put in the middle of a word, Okay, when there are other letters before and after it and what it looks like there. And also we'll be looking at what it looks like if it is in the final position in the word, the end of the word. OK, and we will also consider when you are combining that letter with other letters, how it looks individually. OK, so, for example, let's begin here. We know that this letter is Alif. OK, we know that this letter is Alif. That is the name of the letter, right? If an alif is put at the beginning of a word, okay, it does not change its shape. It does not change the way that it looks. It just looks like a straight line going down. That is an alif. You cannot join any letter to an alif if the alif comes before that letter. It has to be written by itself. Okay. If, however, the alif is in the middle of a word, it can be joined to the previous letter, if the previous letter allows for it to be joined. And I'll explain what I mean by that in a moment. OK, so if the letter before, if you're unable to, if you're able to join something with the letter before and Alif can be joined from this side here. OK, so you can join it to the previous letter. 
Also, if it is at the end of the word, again, you can join the alif to the previous letter. Okay. Now, the places where you would not join it to the previous letter is, for example, a letter like ra. So if there was a ra, you wouldn't be able to join the next alif to it. Because as you can see, you can't join anything after a ra. But we will come to ra in a moment. Okay. So alif, if you have it at the beginning, it's exactly the same. It doesn't change its form. If it's in the middle, it can join to the previous letter. And if it is at the end, again, it can join to the previous letter. If you are combining alifs together, if there are three alifs or two alifs next to each other, you cannot join them. You have to write them individually. Okay. Let's move on now to ba. Here we have ba. As you can see, uh, the shape is like a boat and it has a dot underneath. So we recognize that the letter is ba. Right? Now, if there is a letter after the ba, okay, you can join the next letter to it. The way you would do that is you would cut the ba in half. Okay, and you would just have this front section here. So you can see here in the red, just the front section there with the dot underneath. Okay, then you can join the next letter to it. So in the initial position, first position, you can join the next letter. Okay. If it is in the middle of the word, like here, you can see that it has um, a wavy pointy sign here. Okay, like this, it curves up and curves down again. So you can join the previous letter and you can join the next letter to it as well. And the way that you recognize it is because there is one dot underneath. That is how you know this is a bar. Now, if you look carefully, the letter next to it is a noon. It has the same shape. Okay, you have this wave going up to a point and coming down again, a line. The noon, however, has the dot on top. So that is how you recognize that this is a bar and this is a noon. And this is something that many of us get confused with, these dots. So we have to be really, really careful and focus on where the dot is and how many there are. Is it below, above or below the line? Are there one, two or three? Okay, so these are the things we need to be careful of. Now, if a bar comes at the end of a word, you will write the entire letter in its full form, but you will join it to the previous letter, as you can see here. So it's the entire letter in its full form, but there is a join to the previous letter, okay? And again, if it is in combined, you can see the three different forms of bar here. At the beginning, it's a half bar. So it's like you've cut the original bar in half and kept the dot. In the middle, you would have a point going up and a point coming down again. It's a bit like a W sign you can see there, or U. Um, and then the dot will come in the middle there of where the point goes up. And if it's at the end, it will be the full bar um, letter, okay, in the full form. Now, you will have the same rule for the and the as well, the same rule as for the bar, okay? So if we could have a student on the mic, please. Um, yes, our next student is G717. G717. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, G717. Okay, uh, we can move to another student then. Yep. G725. G725. Assalamu alaikum. Wa well, alaikum as salam. Is that G725? 7117. 717. Oh, 717. Okay. G717. So you've come onto the mic. Great. as G717. How are you today? Good. Are you good? Alhamdulillah. That's great to hear. Understanding everything okay? Yes. Excellent. Good. So what I want you to do is we're going to start with Dawood and Tasmiya again. And then all I want you to do is to say each of the individual letters. So just the name of the letter. Okay. So for example, I will go through and tell you one example. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Alif. 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 Ba. Ba. Dal. Dal. Very nice. Of, of, alif, alif, lam, lam. Very good. Alif, alif, 
ขอขอขอขอ very good keep trying well done Alif 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 Alice. Beautiful. Well done. Let's go on to the next one. Can you tell me the name of this letter? B. Ba. Ba. Well done. Excellent. Good. So, what would this first part here be? What would this be? Ba. Ba. Well done. Excellent. So, this is ba, and this is also ba, right? So, this is ba. Mm -hmm. Ba, dal, dal, hamza, hamza. Beautiful. Well done. This is lam, lam. What's this letter here? Ba. ba. Excellent. Good. Well done. Ba. So lam, lam, ba. Ba, noon, noon, alif, alif, brilliant, seen, seen, ba, ba, and what's this letter here at the end? Ba, very good, well done. Ba, 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 and ba, ba, beautiful, well done. Now let's move on to this one. This letter here. Do you remember the name of this? Yes. Okay. Ta. Ta. Well done. Ta. Ta. Ra. Ra. Ya. Ya. Beautiful. Fa. Fa. Ta. Ta. Ha. 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 Very good. So you try to say it from your throat, okay? Ha. Ha. Very good effort. Excellent. Fa. Fa. Da. Ta. Ha. Ha. Da. Ta. Very good. Excellent. So this ha sound here. It's coming from the middle of your throat. So it's like, ha, you're kind of making a, a, a noise in your throat. Ha. And it takes a bit of practice because we're not used to saying that letter all the time. So just keep working on that. That was really good. So this last one here, Alif. Alif. Mim. Mim. Ta. Ta. Now, this is another form of ta, okay? Um, ta al marbuta. As sometimes it, you will see it in this form, and sometimes it will be in another form, which I will just show you quickly so everybody knows. Uh, it should be further down. Okay, so it's it's basically very much linked to this letter here, which is a ha, which is a softer ha, right? So when this soft ha has two dots on the top of it, it is called ta al marbuta. Okay, and we will look at that in more detail in later lesson as well. Okay, so it's still the same sound, it's the ta sound. Very good. Jazakumla, thank you so much. Um, G725. Thank you for your help. Jazakumla, Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay, can we have another student, please? Yes, our next student is G841. Assalamu alaikum, G841. Assalamu alaikum. How are you today? Good. How are you? Alhamdulillah. I'm very well. Jazakumullah for asking. Are you understanding everything okay? Yes. Excellent. Good. So, first we're going to just practice this next letter, okay, which is similar to the three, the two that we've just done. And then we're going to move on to our next shape, okay? So, can okay. you um, start with Dawuz and Tasmiya? And then can you tell me what this letter is, please? Very good. So it's like a, a th sound, like thing, if you're saying thing. Th. So you put your tongue underneath your top teeth, right? And you make a th sound. Th. 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 Okay, can you say the word 
thing. 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 Good. So it's a similar sound where you put your tongue just underneath your front top teeth and you make a th sound. Th. Th. Right. So this is th. Th. Wow. Wow. Ba. Ba. Okay. Same shape as the previous two letters. Okay. And you will connect it or join it in the same way. So if it's at the beginning of the word, the th, you will cut it off in the middle and you put the three dots on the, the front line here. Okay. If it's in the middle of the word, it's again, it's like this little sort of wave here going up into a corner. Okay. And then you put the three dots and that's how you recognize it's a th and not a ta or a ba because there are three dots on the top. Okay. So here we have ba. Ba. Ein. Ein. Tha. Tha. Ra. Ra. Tha. Tha. Very good. Nice said. Tha. Tha. Ha. Ha. Dal. Dal. Tha. Tha. Very good. Well done. And as you can see, it's the three combined form, just like the same with the ba and the tha. Okay, let's move on. I'm going to keep you on the mic. Let's move on to this next letter, which is our gene. Okay, so this letter here, can you say this letter for me? G. Very good. G. Okay. G. So when we have G, you can see it has a line across. It has this huge belly-like shape here, and it has a dot in the middle. Okay, that's how we recognize that it is a G. Okay, what about this letter here? What's this one? Uh, ha, good. Coming from your throat. Ha. Ha. Okay, and this letter here? Ha. Ha. Now remember, again, it's the same shape. So you have a line coming across in this big belly underneath, and then you have a dot on top, which shows you that this is a ha. Now remember, ha is one of our thick sounds. So when you are saying ha, you make your face into, or your mouth into a round shape and you make a thick and heavy sound, okay? For jean and ha, it's still a soft sound. So you have a slight smile on your face when you're saying that, but this is one of our serious thick letters. So you change the shape of your mouth. Ha. Ha. Very good. Well done. Excellent. So as you can see, with these three letters, we have, again, the same pattern. Um, you you take your line, you take it forward slightly underneath, and then you cut off the big belly side underneath in order to join it at the beginning of a word. So you just have this wave going back and then joining to your next letter, coming down and joining to your next letter. Okay. And the way that you recognize it's a gene is the dot underneath. Right. If it's in the middle of the word, you have this same head part of the gene, but you will have a line connecting to it from the letter before. If it comes at the end of a word, then you will have your full gene. Okay. But you, again, you will have that line that connects from the previous letter. Okay. So let's just go through the letters here. We have gene. G. Meme. Meme. Lam. Lam. Very good. Ba. Ba. Do you know what this next letter is? I. Very good. Ein. Very good. Jim. Jim. Ba. Ba. Excellent. Ha. Ha. Jim. 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 Very good. Excellent. Okay. Now, the same rule applies to ha. So, again, you have the top section, the line across, the line of the tummy or the belly coming down, but then the rest of the belly is cut off. Okay, so you just have this top section, right? And the reason you know it's ha is because there is no dot there. If there was a dot underneath, it's a jim. If there's a dot on the top, it's a ha. Okay, so that's how you recognize this shape. So if it's at the beginning, you can join the next letter to it. If it's in the middle, again, you would have a line that comes to join the previous letter. And if it's at the end, it is in the full form. Okay, so here we have ha. Ha. Ra, ra, jim, jim, ba, ba, ha, 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 ra, ra. 
ฟ้าฟ้าร้อร้อค่ะค่ะ Good. So you really need to try and make that sound from your throat, and this is something that will come with practice and with time. Okay. Now the final of this this group of letters is H, your thick letter. Okay. But the same rule applies. You cut it off at the belly if you're joining it at the beginning of a word. If it's in the middle, you can join the previous letter to it. Okay. But again, you cut it off at the belly in order to join the last letter. And if it is at the end, it takes its full form, but you would join it to the previous letter. Okay, so we have h, h, alif, alif, f, f, sin, sin, h, h, r, r, nun, nun, f, f, h, h. Very good, Jazakumullah. Thank you so much for your help. G eight four one. Lovely recitation. I love this. I love this. Okay, if we could have our next student, please. Yes, our next student is G seven one nine. G seven one nine. G seven one nine. Can you hear me? G seven one nine. Waalaikum assalam. How are you today? Uh, great. Okay. Excellent. Good. Alhamdulillah. So, if we start with Dawood and Dasmia, and then we'll move on. Okay. Um, if you start with Dawood and Tasmiya, and then we continue. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim. You mean starting from Jim? Um, start with Dawood. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim. A'udhu billahi. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim. Beautiful. And Bismillah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Jazakumullah. Thank you so much. Okay, so one of the things I just want to highlight before we move on to our next letters is um, the difference between here we have a jim and what was this letter before? Can you remember? G719? Yeah. yeah, can you remember the name of this letter here? Uh, it's a ein. The second one? This one here, the, the arrow where the arrow is pointing. Okay. This is an ein, right? Now, this looks very similar to the jean. Okay, there are lots and lots of similarities there in the shape. The reason we know it's an ein and not a jean or a ha, for example, like this one here, is because it's much shorter the line across at the top is much shorter and fatter. The line for the heart is much thinner and longer. This is much shorter and fatter. So we have to keep an eye and be very mindful that we look very carefully. Is this an ein? Is it a ha? What is it? And the way we know is because the ha has a very thin, long line, okay, which comes to the neck and then makes the line underneath. And the ein is very short and much fatter. Okay, so you just need to be careful of... When you have lots of letters joining together, that can be quite confusing sometimes. Okay, so what is this letter here? Hamdal. Excellent. And this letter here? Zal. Zal. Well done. Excellent. So a dal or a zal, if they're at the beginning of a word, then you will not join the next letter to them. You have to write them by themselves. You cannot join a letter after a dal or a zal. Okay, if they are in the middle of a word, you can join them to the previous letter. And as you can see, the shape changes slightly. Okay, it becomes a sort of more like a U shape, right? If it is at the end of the word, again, if, the pre if you can join the previous letter, again, it will become like more of a U shape. Okay, now in this um, example here of the dal, the reason that it is not joined to the previous letter is because a wow. When you have a while, you can't join the next letter to it. But if there was a letter you could join, it would take this same form. Okay, so you can join a letter before it, but you cannot join a letter afterwards. And the way that you join is you actually change the shape of the dial as well. Now, sometimes people do get confused because this here looks a little bit like a noon. Okay, it looks like a noon uh, with the dot that's come off the side a little bit. 
But the reason or the way that you can tell that it's a dal is that it's much slimmer than a noon. If we look at a noon, which is further down here. Okay, you can see a noon has a much rounder shape. Okay. And the dot is always in the middle, right? But with the dal, it's a much thinner U shape and the dot is always on the top, the first line, the first pointed line at the top. Okay, so that's the difference there. Mm -hmm. So if we just go through and recite these letters, so this would be dal. Dal. Alif. Alif. Ra. Oh, no, I thought you were pointing at the alif. Oh, it's this one. Hang on, shall I change my cursor? Is that better? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, dal, alif, ra. Uh, Very good. As you can see, in this in this particular example, none of these letters can okay. join to the next one, right? So that's why they're all written individually. Okay. Next one, meme. Meme. Dal. 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 So again, you can see these two forms of the way the dal is written. If it's joining to the previous letter, it's more like a U shape. If it's written by itself, it's the original dal shape. Okay. And the last one, jim. Jim. And dal. Very good. This is dal. Dal. Lam. Ta. 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 Pa. Pa, 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 zal, zal, lam, lam, ka. Pa. Very good. Alif, alif, ain, ain, wow, za, wow, wow, or za, zal, zal, right, zal, zal. Very good. Well done. Jazakumullah G719 um, for your help. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. This is okay. If we could have our next student, please. Yes. Um, our next student is G800. G800. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you today? Tikal, how are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm very well. Jazakumullah for asking. Are you understanding everything okay? Yes. Excellent. So if we start with Tawuz and Tasmiya and then we'll begin. Ozu Billah, Minashitan, Nirachi, Bismillah, Rahman, Nirahim. Very good. Well done. So can you tell me what this letter here is? Ra. Very good. And this letter here? Sa. Very good. Ra, za. Okay, very good. Well done. So as you can see with these letters, when you put them at the beginning of a word, you cannot join the next letter to them. Okay, they have to be written by themselves at the beginning. Right? If, however, there is a letter coming before them, then you can join the previous letter to them. Right? So you have to join it by its, leave it by itself if it's at the beginning. But if it's in the middle, you can join the previous letter to it. OK, if it is at the end, again, you can join the previous letter to it. If you look very carefully, the actual shape of the ra or the za doesn't change. You simply have a line which helps you to join it to the previous letter. OK, so in this example here, we have ra, ra, ba, ba, ha, ha, ba. Ta. Remember, this comes from your throat. Ha. Ha. Good, well done. Next one. Ba. Ba. Ra. Ra. Za. Ra. Once more. Sa. Ba. Ba. Ra. Ra. Za. Sa. Okay, next letter here. Sod. Sod. Ba. Ba. Ra. Ra. Very good. Let's move on to the next one. Za. Sa. 
วาวเปาร่าร่ามีมมีมซาซายายะดัลดัลจิมจิมฮะฮะซาซา very good good effort let's move on to our next two letters Okay, here we have. Can you remember what this is called? s a r Okay, Seen. this letter here. s e e n s e e n s e e n s e e n And this one here. s e e n Beautiful. Well done. So, the s e e n and the sheen again follow the same rule when joining. Okay, if you are joining a s e e n if it is in the beginning of a word at the beginning. You see this like a W shape here. You keep this section, but this whole big tummy section underneath, this big bowl here, you will remove that and you will get rid of that part. So you just have this front section here, which is your little W section, and then you can join your next letter to it. Okay. Um, the same with the sheen. The difference with the sheen is that you have the three dots on top, and that is how you know it is a sheen and not a seam, right? If it is in the middle of a word, again you keep this form, which is cutting off the big belly, and you can join the previous letter to it, and you can also join it to the next letter. If, however, they are at the end of a word, they will maintain their full form, and they will look like the original seen or sheen letters. Okay, so let's go through those. So this is seen, seen, ein, ein. Ra, ra, da, da, ya, ya, sin, sin, hamza, hamza, lam, lam, alif, alif, sin, 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 sin. Next word, sheen, sheen, ta, 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 ra, ra, ta, ta, ra, ra, ba, ba, sheen, sheen, ra, ra. บาบาตอตอชีนชีน very good Jazak Mona thank you so much G eight zero zero for your help you're welcome Allah Hafiz s a m i k u m okay so just to recap we're going through all the different letters we're looking at the different letter in the initial form if it's at the beginning of the word in the medial form that means if it is in the middle Of a word and the final form. That means if it is at the end of the word, okay. And sometimes this is one of the biggest things which um, new learners of the Holy Quran um, get confused about because when you start joining letters together and they start taking different shape, um, it can become very confusing because sometimes they look different from the original letter. Okay, so it's something that we do have to practice. And if we know this really, really well, um, it makes reading of the Quran much, much easier for us. Okay, so if we can go on to our next student, please. Yes, our next student is G eight four one. G eight four one. Assalamualaikum. w a l a i k u m assalam. How are you today? Good. How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm well. So we're going to go on to our next letters now. If you would start with Dawood and t a s m i a and then we can begin. a u z u b i l l a h i min a s h a i t a n i r r a j e e m Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Exactly, well done. So, what letter is this? Sod. 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 And this is? Zod. 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 Yeah. So there's not a, a z. It's not a buzzing sound there. Zod. Zod. Okay. So we'll keep practicing as we're moving on. We keep practicing with the sounds of the letters, right? So again, this is very similar. Um, to our previous example, where you have the front bit or the first part of the letter, 
Okay, and then the tummy or the big belly or the big bowl is removed when you are joining it at the beginning of a word. So as you can see, this is the original shape of sod. And then you remove this big belly section, the tummy section, and you are left just with the head of the letter. OK, so if it's at the beginning of the word, you will just have it looking like this. OK, the same if it is in the middle of a word. Okay? If it is at the end of the word, you have the full form. Right. And it's the same rule for dod as well. Right. Now, sometimes people get confused between uh, sod, dod, and what's let what's this letter here? Do you remember? Oh. Da. Well done. And this one here? Za. Uh, za. Well done. Za. Nice thick sound there. Right. Now, the way you recognize the difference is that they have this, the da and the za have this line coming down. Okay, so it looks slightly different here. It has a line coming down, and that's how you know this is a ta and this is a sod. Okay, because it's a similar I shape, but the line shows you that it, it's a different letter. Okay, so let's go through this first line here. So we have sod, sod, alif, alif, ra, ra, mim, mim, sod, sod. Ra. Ra. Mim. Mim. Ha. Ha. Sod. Sod. Now, if you look closely, you can see the mim also has this sort of roundish shape, which looks similar to the sod. But the mim is much rounder and the sod is much more like an eye shape, an oval shape. OK, it also has this slight um, little line which comes down. And that again, sorry, that again can show you that it is different from the meme. OK, so a meme is a smaller, rounder shape with the, with the hole in the middle. Sod is slightly longer, more elongated and oval shape. OK, so let's move on. Zod. 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 Ein. Ein. Fa. Fa. Ja. Ja. Zod. Zod. Ein. Ein. Fa. Fa. Alif. Alif. Can you tell me what this next letter is? Noon. Very good. Noon, because there is a, the dot is where? On the top or the bottom? Top. Top. Well done. If it was on the bottom, what would it be? Ba. Very good. Well done. So, Alif. Noon. Kof. Kof. Of, of, zod, zod, good, da, da, ha, ha, ra, ra, alif, alif. Now, as you can see, the da has not changed its shape throughout. So, if it is at the beginning of the word, you can simply join the next letter to it. If it is in the middle of the word. You, would join, you can join the previous letter to it and you can join the letters that come after as well. And if it is at the end of the word, again, it keeps its main shape, which is the same for the za as well. Okay, so you don't have to worry when uh, they are in words because they maintain their original shape, but you can join them at the front, in the middle and at the end as well. Okay, ya. Ya. Sin. Sin. Ta. 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 Da. Ya. Ya. Ein. Ein. Mim. Mim. Ha. Ha. Ya. Ya. Da. Da. Very good. And this last letter, remind me what this is? Za. Za. Well done. Thick sound. Za. Za. Fa. Fa. Ra. Ra. Alif. Alif. Za. Za. Fa. Fa. Ra. Ra. Da. Da. Rain. Rain. Ya. Ya. Za. Za. Very good. Jazakumullah G841. Lovely recitation. Allah Hafiz. Thank you.
we could have our next student, please. Yes, our next student is T794. T794. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum How are you today? Good. How are you? Alhamdulillah. I'm very well. Jazakumullah for asking. Are you understanding everything okay? Yeah. Excellent. Good. So if we start with Tawud and Tasmiya, then um, we can start. Excellent. Jazakumullah. Okay, so we're going to go on to our next letters now. Again, these two follow a, the same rule. Can you remember what this letter is called? Rhyme. Very good. And this letter here? Rhyme. Rhyme. Well done. Excellent. Now, an ein and a, or a rhyme, if they're at the beginning of the word, what you need to do is you need to keep this head part again. You need to keep the head part and you cut off the big tummy underneath. Okay, the big yeah. bowl shape underneath. And you will join it to the next letter. Okay, and it's the same for both of those, right? If it is in the end of the word, we'll move to this one here, then it keeps its initial form. So you write the whole form in, but you can join it to the letter before. Now, where it changes is if it's in the middle of a word. So in the middle of the word, the ein and the ein, right, they um, change quite significantly. They change quite a lot. Right. So they basically flip over into the opposite direction, because at the moment you've got this hole going on that side and then you have the hole going on the other side and they become quite short, quite fat. Um, and you have this sort of thick line which can be joined from the front or the back. So you can join it from either side. You can go into it by joining and it can join to the next letter as well but it changes shape quite a lot from the original. So you have to keep that in mind when looking at this, that um, like I said before, with the ha or the ha, as you can see, it's a nice long thin line which joins, but with the ein, it's quite short and quite fat, okay? But it's a similar, similar shape, but it's shorter and fatter. So you have to just make sure that you recognize that this is an ein or a rein, okay? So let's go through this, this is, Ein, Ein, Mim, Mim, Ra, Ra, Alif, Alif. Very good. Da, Da, Ein, Ein, Da, Ba, Dal, Dal, Mim, Mim, Ein, Ein. Very nice. Let's move on to the next one. This is Rein. Rein. Alif. Alif. Fa. Fa. Ra. Ra. Mim. Mim. Rein. Rein. Alif. Alif. Nun. Nun. Mim. Mim. Fa. Fa. Ra. Ra. Alif. Alif. Rhyme. Rhyme. Beautiful. Well done. Excellent. So let's move on now to our next letter. So this is, which letter is this? Fa. Beautiful. Well done. So as you can see, a fa, again, when you are joining it at the beginning of a word, you just take the head of the fa and you cut off the rest of the tail and you just use the head part. Now, again, this looks very, very similar, if you look carefully, to the rhyme in the middle of a word. Right, so here and here. Now, what you will notice is the fa is a nice, neat circle, okay, and the rein is sort of a squash circle, right? So that's how you know the difference between the fa and the rein. That's more squash, a little bit straighter, and this is a nice, neat circle here, okay? Now, when a fa comes in the middle of the word, you have to change it slightly that you keep the circle but the circle is then a hollow circle, it's an empty circle. So you can join it from the front and you can join to the next letter, but it's an empty circle, but the, there's a dot on the top, okay? Um, and if it's at the end of the word, it maintains the entire letter formation. Now, this is very, very similar to our next letter, which is qaf, okay, qaf. Now, a qaf has the same rule. You have the head of the qaf and you cut off this big belly if you are joining it to the next letter. 
right? If it's in the middle, again, just like the far, you would have this hollow circle. You can join it to the letter before or the letter after. But instead of one dot like the far, you will have two dots for the far, right? Again, it looks very, very similar to the mean. But as you can see with the mean, there are no dots and the shape is slightly at an angle, whereas the calf is fully rounded here, okay? And if it's at the end, again, it is in its full form, right? So let's go through these letters. So this is fa, fa, ra, ra, ha, ha. Good, nice from the throat, ha, ha. Good, noon, noon, fa, fa, ha. 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 Very good. Ha. Ha. Fa. 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 Very nice. Now, what letter is this? Gof. Gof. Well done. Nice thick sound. Very good. So this is gof. Gof. Wow. Wow. Meme. 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 Gof. Gof. Alif. Alif. Meme. Meme. Alif. Alif. Lam. Lam. Ha. Ha. Ka. Ka. Very good. Jazakumullah. Thank you so much, G794. Jazakumullah. Allah Hafiz. Okay. If we could have our next student, please. Yes, our next student is G740. G740. Assalamu alaikum. G740, can you hear me? Okay. Um, we'll move to another student then. Mm -hmm. G785. Oh, is that G740? Yeah. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Come here. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, thank you. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Can we start with Tawuz and Tasmiya and then we'll begin? A'udhu billahi min shaitani rajeem. A'udhu billahi min shaitani rajeem. Bismillah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Very good. Well done. Can you tell me what this letter is? Kaaf. Kaf, good. Now this is kaf, which is a thick sound. This is kaf, which is a thin sound. So when you say kaf, you smile. And when you say kaf, you have a round, serious mouth. Okay. Um, and what about this letter? Lam. Lam. Well done. Good. Now let's move on to this one now. So when you have a kaf, sometimes again, it looks very similar to the lam, but um, you have this line coming across at the top as well. So if you are putting it into a joining word, so if it comes at the beginning, you would literally just cut the tail off like we did with the, with the qaf and we did with the fa as well. And then you can put it at the beginning of a word. OK, um, so the way you see the difference is the lam comes straight down with the calf. There's a slight angle, but there's also this this uh, line that's at the top as well. Okay? OK, so you can put it at the beginning, you can put it in the middle. And then when it's in its final form, it takes its full form as the original letter, okay? The same is the case for the lam. So you cut off the tail here. If it's at the beginning, you would just have a line going down which joins onto your next letter. If it's in the middle, you can join it with the first letter or the next letter. And if it's at the end, you can join it if the letter before allows um, and it will take its full form. Okay, so let's just go through those. So this is ka, 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 ba, ba, ya, Ya. Ka. Ka. Ba. Ba. Mim. Mim. Ain. Ain. Ka. Ka. Well done. And the last one, lam. Lam. Ain. Ain. Ba. Ba. Sin. Sin. Lam. Lam. Mim. Mean. Off. Ka. Wow. Wow. Lam. Lam. Excellent. Well done. Jazakumullah G740. Well done. 
Okay, so we haven't finished the entire alphabet yet, but we've gone through quite a few letters. Let me quickly go on to your homework for today. So I want you to please, in your homework, practice exercise 4.1 that we just covered, all that was covered in class, so up to the letter lamb, which we covered today. Please practice all of those letters, okay? Pay attention to the dots, please, and where they are. So make sure you look carefully, you see where the dots are, um, is it on top of the letter? Is it below the letter? Um, how many are there? Is there one or two? Or uh, if we go all the way back to the beginning, um, are there three dots? Okay, so you need to be really, really careful and mindful. How many dots are they? Where have they been put? What is the shape of the letter? And really practice this very, very carefully so that as you move on, it becomes much, much easier for you. Okay, so if we move on to please our final uh, prayer of the day. Yes, um, our prayer is G785. Wa alaikum G785. How are you today? I'm good, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, excellent. You understood everything okay? Yes. Excellent, good. So we're going to end with our final prayer. So, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitani Rajeem. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitani Rajeem. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allahumma arhamni. Allahumma arhamni. Bil Quran al Azim. Bil Quran al Azim. Very good. I'm going to read it once, all of all together, and have a go. Allahumma rhamni bil Quran al Azim. Allahumma rhamni bil Quran al Azim. Very good. O oh Allah, have mercy on me through the Qur'an, the Great. O oh Allah, have mercy on me through the Qur'an, the Great. Jazakumullah, Jazakumullah to all our students, all our parents. And inshallah, we will see you all again tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.